Hey guys, today we're going to be making this cute, cute hat using the Cast Crafts baseball hat die. But I just want to let you know that some of the dies we're not going to be using because I'm going to show you a technique to make the side panel. This one, this from scratch, as well as this one from scratch, so that you don't have to um, cut this specific part right here. 12 times if you want to cut it 12 times by all means yes go ahead and do that but that was a lot for me to cut so I didn't want to do it so this is what we're doing anyway let's get started my friends so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how many pieces you're going to cut on what die so this technique I'm gonna show you this involves you scoring the side panel okay um, if you don't want that tutorial if you don't want to do the die uh, if you don't want to like cut your own um, side panel all you need to do is cut this uh, let me think you have to cut this 12 times so that's why I'm trying to like avoid cutting this so many times is because, um, you know, since we're making our own, I'm already cutting this and including the decorative piece already. So it's going to be stable and it's going to look good at the same time you avoiding cutting this 12 times and cutting this 12 times. So this is, this is why I wanted to do the tutorial to make it a little bit shorter. So let's start. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to cut this base one time. This is one time only. This decorative piece, you're going to cut this three times. Three times for the decorative layer, the outside hexagon one time. You're going to cut, cut this one time with sturdy cardstock. And you're going to cut this with the decorative layer as what you want for for the visor okay for the visor of your um, hat next you're going to cut this you're going to cut this six times uh, five times you're going to cut this five times if you want if you don't want to cut this you don't have to you just have to cut this with your decorative paper that's okay. So cut this. This is the shortcut version, you guys. This cut this five times. Cut this one time. So five, one, one of each, three of the inside, three of the stitched, and one of the outside. And then one of this. So that's it. So when I come back, I'm going to have all of them cut already and we're going to assemble together. And before I proceed to cutting everything, I just want to show you a tip that I do. I don't know if you're doing this already, but I feel like this has helped me become more efficient with die cutting. Is What I do is I cut everything first. Like I set them up in such a way that, um, for example, this is going to be my base. So I'm going to cut this shape how many times over I'm going to be cutting the paper. So I'm going to do this one time and then I'm going to I'm going to cut this this specific one. I'm going to cut it uh, three times because that's how many times I need it to go through the machine. So and, and so forth, you know, the same exact thing you're going to do for the other ones. So I'm going to cut this two more times. And I, I'm, I'm okay with it not being perfect as long as, see, so that's number two and then number three. It just saves me so much time and then I'm going to clean it up later. So I'm going to cut it. And so since I'm doing like a die, I'm using a die that requires a lot of um a lot of steps I do all the trimming and the cutting at one time and then I do all the die cutting at one time so that's my tip of the day for you just in case you're not doing that just yet friend so now I'm sure you've already cut your um, you've already cut your pieces so this is your standard base there's no stitch mark on this one so you get one of that three of the ones with stitches 
three of that because you're going to get a bottom base and then a lid on the top. So that's why we're doing that because the base should be smaller than the lid. Otherwise, it's not going to go perfectly. Also, you need to get this base and then the decorative piece. This is what I'm thinking of using for the decorative piece for the visor. And then for, for the side panel, this is what I'm deciding to use. Look how cute this would be together. So we get one of this, the one with has a hole in the back, and then five of this. Two, three, four, five. So we're going to stop there. Our die cutting is done. Now we're going to be scoring and cutting. Now let's get our scoreboard and let's do some cutting. Friends, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the side panel of your bottom base. And you're going to need five by nine and three fourths. So five. Five by nine and three quarters right there at the nine and three quarter side you're going to you score it at one third so I think this is three three fourths three fourths three and a half six and five eight and then that's it you're going to turn it at the five inch side okay at the five inch side you're going to score it half an inch two Two and a half, three, and four and a half. And then you're going to cut this at two and a half. And this is where you're going to be attaching together to make your to make your panel. So we're gonna start with these are two pieces. So obviously you're gonna have to score and burnish these, and we're gonna create tabs. Okay. Do the same thing there, same thing there, these fold, these fold, and this goes with your hexagon. And you have tabs there. So you're going to do this, cut and create the tab. And you're going to do this for all of these four. Do the same, do the same just like that for all four of them like a ticket and this one this is where your adhesive will be and this is where it's going to attach so let's do that for all four okay okay so the next thing we're gonna make is this is the lid this is the lid for the hexagon and you're gonna need two of this one and this measures two by nine and a half okay two by nine and a half at the nine and a half inch side you're going to score it half an inch three and a half and six and a half and then at the two inch side, you're going to score it half an inch on both sides. And you're gonna be needing two of this. Okay, and what's gonna happen is, <clears throat> this is what it's going to look like, same as the other one. And then you're going to attach this right here. And that's gonna be your, that's gonna be the entire circumference of the hexagon. Okay, friends, so we're going to start assembly. We're going to start with the sun visor. So the sun visor is attached to the bottom base. And the bottom base is smaller than the lid. Okay, the lid is normally fatter because the bottom base is like this and the lid goes on top. So therefore, if it means it's smaller, then therefore we're going to be using the one that has the stitching. Okay. Essentially, what's going to happen is this is going to be here. I just want to show you. There's these that you're going to use and you're going to attach that and put your glue. This is going to be placed right here. Right? And then you're going to put another one so that it covers the entire thing. And that's going to be your base. It's so easy. So we're going to do this in hyperlapse. Okay, my friend so the first thing we need to make sure is you have this panel and this covers all of the six sides of the hexagon <coughs> excuse me and remember that this you're going to 
<coughs> this is going to be the one that attaches. This is the hexagon that doesn't have um, the, the stitching. Okay. So this is going to go together as well as all these side panels. First and most important tip for you is <clears throat> don't attach this to this yet because we're going to turn it upside down. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why because what's going to happen is this is upside down. You know why? Because this is going to go right here. <clears throat> and this is going to go over here. And you won't be able to attach all these sides if this is closed. So my suggestion for you, don't close it just yet. <clears throat> Leave it open. And these are your reinforcements. These are your tabs. You're going to attach it like this. <clears throat> just like that. Okay? That's the easiest way I found that you're still able to attach everything. So my suggestion for you is attach. So glue this one to here. <clears throat> This is the best way I found that has helped. <clears throat> so attach that with your barely art. If you use your barely art, it's better than your glue gun simply because it gives you a little bit more time to kind of <clears throat> to kind of adjust. If you want to put stitching, definitely now is a time to do that before you start attaching things to each other. So we're going to do this for all of them. <clears throat> I know it's like a weird way that you're at I'm, I'm attaching it, but I promise you it's going to be easier for us to assemble it if we did this. This strategy. <clears throat> because when I built mine, it was hard to assemble because there's a tiny itty bitty um, area that I had that I was able to use. Okay. This one is... I should have started with the left. <clears throat> I should have started with this. So I'm just doing it in front of you so you know <clears throat> what we're doing. Just like that. I've only attached the first one, not the second yet. Just the first tab so far. So this is what it looks like, okay? <clears throat> and then this is when you start attaching these tabs onto the neighbor. And you do that slowly and carefully. <clears throat> one at a time you can use a glue gun if you wanted to if you want it to be faster but you won't have time for adjustments <clears throat> that's the that's the not so good part for your glue gun it's fast and it's really really fast if you have flimsy paper it's hard <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna spend a few minutes kind of putting this together go ahead and put a pause on this one or put a pause on yours while you're constructing your version. I'm gonna do a hyperlapse so you can see the entire process. Friends, now I'm just reinforcing the bottom base just in case we decide to put something heavy um, because this is a big space and you can put something significant and also I'm gonna put the beads here so it's good to get it reinforced and kind of solid so just like that that's why I had you cut three of them because <clears throat> it's gonna be the the base attachment the cover here and then the cover in the back so now we have our hat this is going to be in the back it's going to be in the front so that's what it looks like and i'm deciding i'm going to use this 
as like the like the vertex of the hat just so we can use it as like a handle <clears throat> I just like I just like the look of it that's all and we can use it to lift make sure that it is solid make sure that you're attaching it properly and it's not showing the imperfections too much so that is done so always always my friend don't forget that the bottom is always smaller than the lid just so just so you know right there and then we can decorate it with some flowers and and of course don't forget your beads it looks so cute don't you think look how cute you can totally you can totally decorate this with flowers absolutely anything in the collection if you want you can do like you know whatever it says you can put like a dedication here that says like i love you or you know you're special to me something on or their names right here if you wanted to and then if you lift that's where it's gonna have all the gifts is that so cute okay so let's decorate it i'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to decorate and i'm using five of these beads and I am, let me remove this. I'm putting it on all of the, all of the sides, just so all of the sides have support. Okay. That's why I love buying these beads from Hobby Lobby. They just work for everything, all the legs. right there so you know there's a lift to it you can definitely put anything on top of these cute cute and sturdy and then obviously we're gonna decorate the front part but I think it's still absolutely marvelous even without decor it's already cute in itself but of course we want to add some flowers you know definitely we want to add some flowers because it's just cuter with flowers so let's do that so I just got this from from the collection like a sticker from from the project pad right there I'm just cutting it and I'm just gonna go to town I'm just gonna have fun with it add whatever bundle of flowers that I like and some birds probably would be cute as well and then it's going to be so cute also to have maybe I can cut it in half and then attach it because it kind of looks identical or I can choose something else let me choose something else that's not identical to the other just so it looks like so here I'm going to be able to add that up here. It brings a, it a lot more. It brings it life. And then I'm going to add here. Let me get my <coughs> double-sided tape. And we're going to add a couple more flowers to this side. Maybe some yellows would be beautiful. Like these yellow flowers. And we're going to add that. I need to do my manicure. You know, it just makes it pop so much. Like all the layers of this beautiful flowers. And then probably like a small one on this side. <clears throat> That's a different color. Or a bird, perhaps. Yellow. There's only yellows in here. Oh, here. Oh, here. This one would probably be perfect here. And then obviously we definitely need sentiments. So we need to set up our sentiments in such a way that it's going to be super fabulous. It looks so good already. Look. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to find a word. 
Okay, friend, we're going to decorate it with this word sweet on top right here. And then this one is sweet happy mail. I think that's so cute. Let's do it. These are just like sentiments that I have already cut in my stash. That's why I love doing this, like having all these sentiments available because it makes a huge difference. Sweet, thankful for it all, happy meal. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that there. I definitely do. I like that there. I'm going to put it right there. It's a unique take on on the use of these dies just having them connect look how pretty that is i think it's absolutely marvelous and then you can put your happy mail on the inside look how pretty is that gorgeous i think it's beautiful i hope friends that you give it a try if you have this die i thought this <coughs> making your own side panel is a much much easy way easier way than cutting it 12 times because you know there's only one die and you have to have it go through 12 times that's a little bit much for me so that's why i made it this way but you know it's up to you how you want to make it but i think this die is absolutely marvelous it's worth doing some manual cuttings for it look how pretty that is i just love everything that's coming out of it it looks marvelous. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys.